Houston Texans are hosting the Cleveland Browns. Am I right? The Texans have won, what, eight straight? Kind of hard to win nine in a row. Uh, and the Browns are playing better. However, Houston is the favorite here by six points. Yeah, you know what? We've, there's been a lot of talk about Baker Mayfield uh, this week. And, and uh, I brought up his bandana on more than a couple of occasions. How do you feel about uh, bandanas? I feel like this, this topic has come up at some point on Fantasy Sports Network, and I am not a big bandana fan. It just doesn't do it for no, me. It Sorry, it, Baker. It, yeah, just, you know, <laughs> unless you're Andre Agassi. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. It's just, I'll be honest, there's something about Baker Mayfield that his vibe, I'm not buying it. Yeah. But I guess I'm just old, crusty, and jaded and stuff, and I'm not cool, right? <laughs> uh, I'm not cool and hip to Baker Mayfield. I am cool and hip to Baker Mayfield and how good he is. And we're talking about a quarterback that has nine touchdown passes and, what, one interception since Hugh Jackson. I like the fact that Baker Mayfield is confident. His, his arrogance and cockiness is, I think, what helps him perform at the level that he does. Yeah, you're taking on a smoking hot uh, Houston Texan uh, football team right now. And you know what, Maria? We're looking at the numbers here. And, you know, the Houston Texans earlier in the year, we talked about this. They really weren't blowing anybody out. Talking about that Buffalo Bill game. The Buffalo Bills should have beat them. Josh Allen got hurt. Nate Peterman came in, gave them the football game. Um, you, you look at the Texans' wins uh, for the most part uh, this year. You know, 1917 uh, against Denver, 23 21 against Washington. Um, you know, we, we saw the game against the Dallas Cowboys, nineteen sixteen. But what do we see now? We're starting to we're starting to see the Texans raise it up a notch. And there seems to be a, to me a trend in the in the National Football League right now with bad coaches deciding to open things up a little bit more. Understanding, you know what, I'm probably gonna lose my job. You look at the play calling with Linehan and Garrett in Dallas over the last couple of weeks, much more aggressive, much better. And I think we're gonna have a similar situation here with the Houston Texans. Bill O'Brien has an opportunity to go to a Super Bowl this year. If he could just get out of the way and let Deshaun Watson do his thing. The play, play calling's been great. Like what Lamar Miller's bringing to the table. Demarius Thomas ain't done, man. As we see the production from, uh, from DT right now with the Houston Texans. I'm not in love with laying the points here. I am inclined to believe that Houston's going to win the game and they will cover. But where I'm going with this, I think the total's a little low, a low, uh, low here, Maria. I think there's going to be some points put up on the board. I think both offenses will be productive enough to get us over the number here. It's more than fair number at 47. Give me the over in this football game. And for what it's worth, Gabe, I think you could pull off a bandana. But we don't have to see it. I'll just have that image in my head. Uh, anyway, <laughs> should be a good game. But you like the over uh, as the Browns visit the Texans.